Semiconductor research and manufacturing is big business in Oregon, and nobody's bigger in the state than Intel. It and other companies here are producing a product that is at the heart of modern technology, from cell phones to airliners. We've heard about global shortages of the high-tech chips, and Oregon's senior senator says he wants to fix that. He'll be talking about how the $52 billion CHIPS Act will help here at Monday's Oregon Leadership Summit 2022 in Portland. My legislation that I made a part of this package provides billions of dollars for investment tax credits. And this gives us a chance to really move into the big leagues in terms of manufacturing. Wyden also gave us early notice of a visitor he plans to host in Oregon early next year, with an eye on growing the semiconductor business across the state. The fact that the Secretary of Commerce is willing, Gina Raimondo, to come on out and look at how Oregon is really moving ahead in semiconductors is a huge compliment to our industry, and I'll be talking about it Monday. Building a major interstate bridge is also big business, and plans to replace the interstate bridge are once again being developed. It will be a major undertaking to create a new span connecting Oregon and Washington over the Columbia River. And we just learned the price tag has gone up from about $4.8 billion to as much as $7.5 billion. I asked the senator if it's still worth it. And how much can the federal government and your role as a lead on the budget, on the finance, uh, how much can the federal government contribute to this big bill? We're already starting to dig into these new numbers. I guess it's just uh, really just a couple of days uh, now that we've thought we've had them. We know, though, that you can't have big league quality of life with little league infrastructure. So it's my job to make sure that we have these infrastructure uh, reforms and that we also use a sharp pencil to protect taxpayers. And now on to some big bad business, the massive epidemic of catalytic converter thefts in Oregon and across the country. In August, we told you about a major catalytic converter theft ring centered in Washington County, but operating throughout the West, responsible for stealing tens of thousands of catalytic converters worth $22 million. Wyden says legislation he's introduced with Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar would require manufacturers to stamp VIN numbers on the exhaust system component, improve record keeping and standards for purchasers of used catalytic converters, and codify the theft as a criminal offense nationally. I think there ought to be real consequences, criminal penalties, for, uh, for ripping uh, people uh, off. There's also an interstate component that I'm very concerned about because it looks like there's some sophisticated gangs and they just move all up and down the West Coast uh, trying to unload the parts and, and uh, make a quick buck. After a brief few days here, Wyden heads back to Washington. As chair of the Senate Finance Committee, there is work to do on year-end spending packages. Tim Gordon, KGW News.